Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Comparing Quantities. In the previous session, we learned to calculate compound interest, compounded half yearly. In this session, we compute the compound interest quarterly. What does the interest compounded quarterly mean? Yes, the interest is compounded quarterly means we compute the interest every three months and the amount is compounded four times a year. Let's explain by doing a problem. Rohan deposited 30,000 rupees in a bank for one year at a rate of 20% interest compounded quarterly. Find the amount he received after one year. Here we have principal P equals 30,000 rupees. Number of years N equals one year, which is four quarters. And rate of interest R equals 20%. Now find the interest and the amount for the first quarter. Here, we take the principal for first quarter as P1 equals 30,000 rupees. So, the interest for first quarter, I1 equals P1NR, divided by 100, equals 30,000 multiplied by 1 by 4, multiplied by 20, whole divided by 100, equals 30,000 multiplied by 1, multiplied by 20, whole divided by 4, multiplied by 100. That is, I1 equals 1,500 rupees. Now, the amount at the end of first quarter. A1 equals P1 plus I1 equals 30,000 plus 1,500. That is, A1 equals 31,500 rupees. This is the principle for the second period. So for second quarter, principle P2 equals 31,500 rupees. Therefore, interest for second quarter, I2 equals P2NR divided by 100 equals 31,500 multiplied by one by four multiplied by 20 divided by 100 equals 31,500 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 whole divided by 4 multiplied by 100 I2 equals 1,575 rupees then the amount at the end of second quarter A2 equals P2 plus I2 equals 31,500 plus 1,575. A2 equals 33,075 rupees. This is the principle for the third period. So for third quarter, principle P3 equals 33,075 rupees. Therefore, interest for third quarter. I3 equals P3NR divided by 100 equals 33,075 multiplied by 1 by 4 multiplied by 20 whole divided by 100 equals 33,075 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 whole divided by 4 multiplied by 100. I3 equals 1,653.75 rupees. Then the amount at the end of third quarter. A3 equals P3 plus I3 equals 33,075 plus 1,653.75. A3 equals 34,728.75 rupees. This is the principle for the fourth period. 
So, for fourth quarter, principal P4 equals 34,728.75 rupees. Therefore, the interest for fourth quarter I4 equals P4NR divided by 100 equals 34,728.75 multiplied by 1 by 4 multiplied by 20 whole divided by 100 equals 34,728.75 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 20 whole divided by 4 multiplied by 100 I4 equals 1736.44 rupees. Then the amount at the end of fourth quarter. A4 equals P4 plus I4 equals 34728.75 plus 1736.44 equals 36465.19 rupees. This is the amount to be received after one year. From the above calculation, we can say the interest is calculated every three months and the amount is compounded four times a year. Did you notice one thing? Here, the interest is compounded quarterly. So we compute the interest four times and the rate of interest becomes a quarter. We know that there are four quarters in a year. So we can say that when interest is compounded quarterly, the number of years n becomes 4n quarters and the rate of interest r becomes r by 4. For every quarters, we can generalize this as if principal equals p, rate of interest equals r, number of years equals n, then the amount will be a equals p multiplied by 1 plus r by 4 divided by 100, the whole raised to 4n. And the compound interest is ci equals a minus p equals p multiplied by 1 plus r by 4 divided by 100, the whole raised to 4n minus p equals p multiplied by 1 plus r by 4 divided by 100, the whole raised to 4n minus 1. Let's do the above problem with the generalized equation. We have P equals 30,000 rupees. N equals 1 year. R equals 20%. We know that A equals P multiplied by 1 plus R by 4 divided by 100, the whole raised to 4n equals 30,000 multiplied by 1 plus 20 by 4 divided by 100, whole raised to 4 multiplied by 1 equals 30,000 multiplied by 1 plus 5 by 100, whole raised to 4 equals 30,000 multiplied by 1 plus 1 by 20 whole raised to 4 equals 30,000 multiplied by 21 by 20 whole raised to 4 equals 30,000 multiplied by 21 by 20 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 equals 36,465.1875. That is, A equals 36,465.19 rupees. That is, the amount to be received after one year, when the interest is compounded quarterly is 36,465.19 rupees. 
Let's have a quick recap. Today, we discussed how to calculate the amount and interest compounded quarterly. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. Shyam deposited 7,500 rupees in a bank for six months at the rate of 8% interest compounded quarterly. Find the amount he received after six months. That's all for now. See you all in the next class with another interesting topic.